I had to set an example of what type of energy SmackDown will bring. Competition. Mm. Oh, okay. It's very short and sweet by CM. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Shawn Michaels! No! Oh, sweet chin music! Shawn Michaels is in ring gear! What the hell is Shawn doing? Punk! Punk's in trouble! Sweet chin music! Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for watching us. Wait a minute. Coming through the crowd. Oh, wait! Shawn Michaels! This Shawn Michaels! A repeat of Raw, perhaps! Punk doesn't realize! Michaels thinking super kick! Punk dodged! Punk got him up! Go to sleep! On a death note! Good evening. After the events that took place on the recent return episode of SmackDown, I am here to tell all of you that until after the clash at the Castle Premium Live event, Shawn Michaels will be suspended as general manager of Raw. To clear things up, I want Shawn Michaels to be 100% ready for his matchup with CM Punk in Wales. So for the next couple of episodes of Raw, I will be in control. Tonight, we will see the World Heavyweight Champion Roman Reigns in action against the underdog from the underground, Sami Zayn. And for our second singles championship for the men's division, I want to establish the level of talent that Raw currently possess. To kick off tonight's episode, we will crown a brand new WWE International Champion. Who will be the participants? We'll find out now. Born to be the greatest of all time, this is where I draw the line. Stop my shine, let the world know too hot for you. I'm not about to lose, I'm the greatest. As we're live, ladies and gentlemen, in Fort Worth, Texas, for Monday, not Raw, so we're off the heels of the WWE draft, and we heard from Triple H moments ago. To kick off tonight's episode of Raw, we start with the brand new International Championship. And here comes the participant. The phenomenal former world heavyweight champion in AJ Styles. AJ Styles in this matchup tonight. What a way to start Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE International Championship! Making his way to the ring, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles! Over on SmackDown, Finn Balor got drafted with the Intercontinental Championship, leaving Monday Night Raw without a second singles title for the men outside of the World Championship and the NXT title. So tonight, AJ Styles in this match, but who will his opponent be in this affair for the international title? It's live sold out. And it's all looking to be burned down. Here comes Seth freaking Rollins. A man who was just the Intercontinental Champion on the last episode of Raw before Finn Balor walked away with the win. As Seth Rollins in this matchup against AJ. From Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds. Triple H said at the top of the show that he wants to produce the international championship at a level where even main eventers will want a piece at it. We got two main eventers in AJ Styles and Seth Rollins. Two men who've held every title in the WWE. They're going to do it one more time with the new title on the line. Who's the first man to be the inaugural? The inaugural WWE International Champion. Here we got the belt here on display. And oh, there it is. 
the brand new WWE International title. Very reminiscent of the uh, the old school Intercontinental Championship. The likes that Triple H and The Rock have held in the past. The international title on the line. Representing exclusive for the Raw brand. AJ Styles, who's all along without the OC. Seth Rollins, who's been on the road for the last two years. They're gonna go on it again, one on one. AJ Styles and Seth Rollins have fought over the World Heavyweight Championship, the inner, the inner, rather the Universal Championship at WrestleMania. And now tonight they meet over the international title. Brand new title brought up by Triple H has, oh, we heard earlier tonight, Shawn Michaels is suspended as far as being the Raw General Manager goes. But it doesn't exclude the fact that Shawn Michaels will compete, oh, at Clash of the Castle against CM Punk in a very big matchup, one of the big marquee matches at Clash of the Castle in, in Cardiff, Wales. As Rollins sending him face first, does Styles. Sending Styles' his head off to the turnbuckle pad. And now. Oh! Oh! Shot to the knee and a forearm knockdown. As Seth in control to kick off this, this night with the international title. Up for grabs as Rollins are gonna hiss. They're gonna go for the oh, revolution knee. Got him. Is it enough? Shoulders it down. Oh, that title was won. Seth Rollins, one of the seven WWE titles he's held in the past. Set over the top to the outside is AJ Styles, a former WWE champion in his own right. As Styles gets sent back in the ring by Rollins, who's again in his Monday Night Rollins phase. They're gonna go back when he used to go absolutely berserk on Raw every week, competing in great matches. As Rollins and Styles, oh, he missed the chop there. Then Rollins, they got him that time, and a flatliner. Rollins missed the chop, but will cover with another one, and then. Able to plant him on a flatliner, but now starts with the advantage on the outside. What a torture rack into a power bomb. And at the inner, oh, former Intercontinental Champion sent onto the onto the steel steps. But it's Rollins on attack, and again another former Intercontinental Champion in AJ Styles. They both held the US title. They both held the WWE, the World, the Universal Championship to the past. Rollins with a sling blade, is it enough to put away Styles, Hook, the leg, and a shoulder bit two. Jam packed tonight live in Fort Worth, Texas. Nearly 12,000 fans in attendance here tonight. Oh, could he get the super kick? Could not get the super kick. And again, trying to go for it again, but stops able to avoid Rollins with a hip toss. And now it's Rollins who's feeling it. Feels that he has stones where we want him. Able to block or dodge that form. But now Rollins with the Irish whip. Sends him over. Duck under this Rollins. Drop kick avoided. Oh. The drop kick was avoided in a form in the face. International title. Not coming in AJ Styles, at least not yet. DDT there by the phenomenal one. Elbows, what? Well. Things are not looking too good. If you were Seth Rollins until now, able to turn the tide. Oh, face first into the corner. That's the thing about Seth. You can't really count him out until he's down for the count, literally for the three count. Other than that, you can't really can't out, can't, can't out Seth Rollins. And Seth Rollins, look at this. Oh, look at this. It's going old school. Dragon styles his face on the top turnbuckle. Then a shot to the midsection. Then the Irish slip. Drop kick styles. Able to connect. 
Styles succeeded when Rollins couldn't get the job done there. And now AJ. Or oh, Rollins. Then he had a moment of talk. AJ Styles made him pay. Every time Rollins does something, Styles is able to do it a little bit better. At least with better timing. Oh my god! Burning hammer onto the floor! AJ Styles really trying to take this match home. Oh, and the chop block as well. Count of five. I don't know if the title will go to AJ Styles or Rollins if they win via count out. But luckily we're not able to find that out, at least not yet. Rollins and Styles got back in it. The guillotine leg drop up the rope. Rollins now from the top. Look at the floor with a double axe handle. Run up to the dome of Styles to win the international gold. Could it be? No. Styles. Styles powered out at two. Again, two former world champions. Two men that held every title in this business has yet has yet to put each other away in this matchup for the brand new international title. As AJ Styles oh, launching Rollins out of the corner. And now look at this. Rollins trying to use the ropes for leverage. As Styles right there for the picking. As Styles does the same thing what Rollins did to him earlier in the match. Attacking the left leg. But look at this. Styles class. And you notice he, he, he just planted him. Now goes for the cover. But oh, Rollins pulled it in two. For a second, I thought that was wise by Styles for not taking too much time to turn him over the traditional way after planting Rollins with the Styles clash. But Rollins able to kick out of two regardless. Rollins with the sling blade. Measuring AJ Styles. Here comes Seth. Oh, trying to launch his body, but Rollins. Rollins able to, oh wait, able to recover. AJ able to dodge, but Rollins, curb stop. Could it be Rollins? Hook of the leg. Rollins wins the title. Seth Rollins is your inaugural international you champion. Continental, United States, Universal, WWE, and World Heavyweight titles, and now the international champion is Seth freaking Rollins. Oh my, what a way to start tonight. And we're just getting started. We've got a lot more matches coming to you as we're going to have Sami Zayn, the underdog from the underground, will meet the World Heavyweight Champion, Roman Reigns, later on tonight, here live on Monday Night Raw. Can the underdog from the underground get a massive win, a massive upset over the Tribal Chief? Also, Drew McIntyre in our main event will go one-on-one -on -one with Ricochet later on tonight. As McIntyre is going to build momentum, heading towards his championship bout at Clash at the Castle. Ilya Dragunov will be in action as he goes one-on-one -on -one with the megastar in LA Knight. Both men are going to get a big win. Who will get the job done out of the two superstars in this matchup later on tonight? Also, Core Jade will go one-on-one -on -one with Fallon Henley coming off a big loss at Spring Break into Valhalla. Fallon Henley, they're going to pick herself up and they're going to duck herself off in this matchup tonight. And let, coming up next, Chelsea Green and Piper Niven in a tag team match, number one contenders match against high energy winner will meet damage control for the women's world tag titles next week. A lot of great action for you here in Fort Worth, Texas. Katana, Chance, and Kaden Carter, high energy. Is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, Katana Chance and Aiden Carter. High 
energy. The reason why they call themselves high energy because they light up the room, bringing positive energy, positive vibes around everyone around them. No doubt about it, especially within the WWE Universe. Katana Chance and Kenny Carter, they're going to try to become the tag team champions. And now that both Raw and SmackDown have their own separate women's tag divisions, no doubt Katana Chance and Kenny Carter's opportunities have doubled at becoming the tag team champions, whether it's on Raw or on SmackDown. And their opponents, the team of Piper Niven and Chelsea Green. Interesting duo coming together, Piper Niven and Chelsea Green. Maybe Chelsea Green maybe hired Piper Niven as a, as a bodyguard. I spoke with her earlier today. I asked her, hey, what's the deal with her and Piper being together? She's like, well, it's more of a insurance policy. Well, let's see how that will fare in this tag team matchup. Let's see if Chelsea Green and Piper Nimmick can be a low-old machine, if you will, against a tag team who's been a tag team for over a year in high energy. Battle swing, and here we go. Chelsea Green, Iris rebound, able to knock down uh, Kaden Carter to begin this matchup. We've seen Chelsea Green compete as a single star in the past. Now they're going to take a crack at the tag division. And Chelsea Green in trouble. Kaden Carter thinking, oh! What a plant, Chelsea, with that scoop slam. And now they're going to work on Chelsea Green here. Hell of a night we have coming up here live on Raw. Dragon off in night 101. Core Jane and Fallon Henley. Roman Reigns in action against Sami Zayn as Katana Chance got tagged in in a head scissors takedown on the Chelsea Green. Iris Swift turnaround by Chelsea. And able to avoid. Oh, but Chelsea caught her there with that kick. Not to mention our main event, True McIntyre versus Ricochet. McIntyre, they're going to rebound from the loss from CM Punk, an old rival. Uh, on SmackDown this past week during the WWE Draft, Ricochet one-on-one -on -one have a big opportunity against the challenger for the world title in McIntyre. As oh, face first goes Katana. As Piper now in the fray, Piper Niven, the heavyweight. Oh, out of the two. The Big muscle for Chelsea Green. And you see Chelsea behind her. Riffer trying to tell Chelsea to get out of Dodge to get back on the apron. Looking to a modest Chelsea Green looking to maybe double team. Maybe not understanding how a tag team match works. I don't know what goes through the mind of Chelsea Green. Look at Piper Niven again. The muscle coming into play. Elbow after elbow. Katana. Obviously, there will be a size difference between the two. As Katana, despite her size being a, a detriment against Piper Niven, it's still they're gonna try to turn into a positive. But again, no more like two blocks. Piper Niven able to get the shoulder up at one. Katana chance to get the shoulder up at one. As Niven, look at it. Continue to isolate Katana away from her partner. Elbow to the face there. Katana again. They're going to use every part of her body as a weapon. Planning Piper Niven head first. Maybe she, oh, maybe guarded a little bit of confidence to Katana. But it might have backfired now. Look at Piper Niven. Bossman slam. Tribute to WWE Hall of Famer there. By Piper Niven. The big boss man is... Oh! Piper again trying to prevent Katana from making a tag, but Katana not afraid to fight head on! Nice! Head scissors takedown! And a corkscrew splash! Goes for the cover! Lateral press! Up at one is Piper. And now look at that. She took a chance, did Katana, but now makes a tag to her partner, Kaden. And now look at that. Body scissors takedown. Oh, trying to go for a kick perhaps, but Niven able to shut that down. And now Piper drops the elbow to the knee. 
Tag made. Here comes Chelsea. And now Chelsea Green now. They're going to knock down Catano's uh, partner and Caden Carter. And now Carter trying to use the ropes, trying to get it back up to her feet. But Chelsea Green right there to take advantage. Double knees to the spine. And then scratches the back as well. But Carter able to battle back with that jawbreaker and a face buster as well. And a card on the outside looking for a breather perhaps. Not getting back in. And Chelsea right there for the picking. Iris Swift into the corner. They may be looking to make sure that Katana was not behind Chelsea. And now look at that driving the boot. Run right into the face of Carter. Remember the winners of this match will compete against damage control. Tag team gold will be up from will be up for grabs. Tag made. Piper Niven. Oh, knee to the spine there. And now look at this. Piper Niven got her up. Oh my god, electric chair face buster. Hook of the leg as Katana the fray able to make a tag. Able to prevent Piper Niven from getting the win there. And now Carter. No! Oh, drop kick. It barely staggered Piper Niven there. And now Niven! Oh my god! Planet her down, hook of the leg. That's it. Piper Niven and Chelsea Green. Big win for their Your tag team debut. The team of Piper Niven and Chelsea Green. For a split second, I thought Carter kicked out. But ladies and gentlemen, the action does not stop. Coming up next, Ilian Dragunov takes on LA Knight. But Chelsea and Niven will compete for the tag titles next week. To kick off the summer season live in Phoenix, Arizona, it will be NXT Heat Wave, our next NXT special event. You don't want to miss it live to kick off the hot summer season. Member for damage control, and she will team with EO Sky against Power Trip. This was last week on Raw, ladies and gentlemen. Before the WWE draft, Bailey announced that she has recruited Asuka to be a part of Damage Control. Ooh, it was a shocking moment to say the least. I never expected it one bit to see Asuka a part of Damage Control. I mean, Asuka and Bailey has had rivalries in the past in Universe Mode over the years, but to see them join forces was a, a sight to behold, to say the least. A first time ever in this universe mode. Bailey and That's Asuka right. on the same it team. It will be Asuka that will help take the tag straps away from Trish and Tiff and give damage control all of the gold. That was the whole point of Asuka joining. To add more gold to damage control by any damage means. Damage control will run this freaking show. That was after Bailey retained the women's world title. Bailey made a statement regarding that match with Bianca. And then Asuka was a huge help to damage control. Able to lock in Tiffany Shren, who just won the NXT Women's title only a week before, tapped out to Asuka. Trish Stratus could not make the save, allowing damage control to walk out as the brand new Women's World Tag Team Champion. Last week on Raw, but now next week on Raw, we will see Damage Control defend the gold against now the number one contenders for the tag titles. They're getting a win over high energy earlier tonight. Chelsea Green and Piper Niven will get their shot next week. As we are live here in Fort Worth, Texas, for Monday Night Raw, here comes the Mad Dragon. A man who believes in symphony of destruction, the maestro, 
of Carnage. Ilya Dragunov. Making his way to the ring from Moscow, Russia. Weighing in at 187 pounds, Ilya Dragunov. Ilya Dragunov making his way down the aisle to compete in a one-on-one -on -one match with L.A. Knight here tonight live on Raw. Ilya Dragunov, a hell of a competitor, no doubt, was a part of the SmackDown brand last season in Season 9. But sadly wasn't able to get an opportunity, whether at championships or be a part of SmackDown. But tonight, Ilya Dragunov, now a part of the Raw roster, will have a big opportunity, a big opportunity, to showcase to the entire world what he's all about inside the ring. Some of us have seen, have seen Ilya in the ring in the past, but some never have seen him on this stage. Ilya Dragunov here tonight meets the Megastar. A former Intercontinental and Champ. From Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, L.A. Knight. L.A. Knight. A former Intercontinental Champ. A man who calls himself the Megastar. A man who got a big win at WrestleMania a year ago in Season 9 when he defeated The Rock in Dallas, Texas. No doubt, a Texas State means a lot to L.A. Knight. And tonight, L.A. Knight are going to get a, a victory over Ilya Dragunov, or will it be the other way around? Will Ilya Dragunov, the Mad Dragon, upset the L.A. Knight, the Megastar? Loud cha crowd chants for L.A. Knight here tonight, live here on Raw. But right off the bat, Ilya Dragunov with the strikes delivered to LA Knight. Irish Swift turn around by Knight. He got Dragunov on the ropes, hanging on. And now, oh! Dragunov able to hang him, hang him up to dry under the top rope. And now, got a dead position for that bell to back driver. Goes for the cover, does the Mad Dragon. The first cover of the match, and a kick out at one. Iris Swift, turn around. Oh. Big elbow there. Got him in the corner. Oh, but Knight turned that around as well. And now look at this. LA Knight with a swinging side slam. Things are looking good for LA Knight until Dragonov turned it around. Top lock to the back of the knee. And now, oh, oh my. God, wicked strikes, palm strikes to the face, and then an uppercut for measure. Oh, and a centaur, and another one by Dragunov. Dragunov, all about intensity, all about impact. And we're getting a chance to see that here. As, look at that big back body drop. All to LA Knight, and I was dragging off in control here. Work, working on the head and neck of LA Knight there, and that down another sent on by Dragonoff. And oh, now that LA Knight with the elbow. Oh, and on the right. Wicked rights coming in by LA Knight here. And now, coming off the second rope with the Bulldog. Oh, big stomp right to the back of the neck, or the head rather, of Ilya Dragon of LA Knight now. Maybe going out for a quick breather to regroup here. Able to drive the knee right to the spine of, of Dragon off. Does Knight. Oh! Taking advantage of the exposed 
a kneecap, if you will, and just driving the knee onto the canvas, and then dropped his own knee to the to the head of Dragon. Ali Knight having some mean plays here being displayed. But it's Dragon sent to the corner and an uppercut. Well, that that rocked him. Got him up to the outside even. Ali Knight they're gonna try to take advantage of the work he's done. WWE Universe, no ball. No! Oh, they no ball when it comes to the megastar. With everybody saying his name, LA Knight, yeah! And now Dragonov able to send him back in the ring. The Mad Dragon. A fierce competitor to say the least. Oh, elbow to the face. And now it's dragging off that's busted open. Oh, the big shot to the face as well. LA Knight. Got him up. Beautiful. Turn him inside out into a neck breaker. LA Knight just taking his time, dictating the pace of this very matchup. As LA Knight, oh, stomped right to the abdomen, right to the gut. And now, look at this, goes for the cover. Does LA Knight on the Dragonov? Could it be the shot of two? I mean, you, you would think Dragonov was done for them. But Dragonov got more height. No. Got more heart than uh, anyone can give him credit for. Stop to the spine. Knee to the face. LA Knight's in his, in his wheelhouse here. LA Knight. He got him in position. Oh. Dragon off his busted open. My God. What is LA Knight planning here? Oh my god! The athleticism by LA Knight! And then the superplex! Oh my god, the blood tripping on by Ilya Dragunov! LA Knight with a win! No doubt about it, LA Knight took advantage of the blood loss of Dragunov! You would think LA Knight Wanted to go for a BFT, but he went for a superplex instead for the win. Either way, Felon Henley takes on quarantine on Raw. Next, Raw continues. I will not deny the fact that this concept of the WWE draft is very interesting. I could be with or without my comrades, Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci. But here's something that a lot of you don't know. Imperium is officially stronger than ever because we have recruited a new member. Well, ladies and gentlemen, next week on Raw, we're going to find out who did Imperium add into their group to make stronger Imperium. Could they take over Monday Night Raw? We'll find out live next week. Live in Cardiff, Wales, our next premium live event in WWE 2K24, it's Clash at the Castle. Next week, ladies and gentlemen, despite being suspended, Shawn Michaels will be here to address CM Punk and their matchup at Clash at the Castle. HBK will be in the building next week on Raw. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes Cora Chain. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois, Cora Jane! Cora Jane making her way down the aisle. WWE's resident mean girl, if you will. Going one on one with Fallon Henley, who's looking to recover from her loss at spring break in last week. We're going to see how things will fare tonight between these two superstars. But Cora Jade, I mean, she's not really a, a nice gal, to say the least. She 
looks to be the type that will pick on those misfortunes. And no doubt, they're going to use Fallon Henley's misfortunes as an advantage here tonight. But let's see. And it seems that Fallon Henley is going to keep up that spirit. Chelsea, Michigan. Fallon Henley and her boys, Briggs Jensen. And, uh, oh, yeah. well, they weren't able, they weren't really successful on Raw last week with the tag title draw on the line. Briggs and Jensen, to say the least. And also, Fallon Henley at spring breaking wasn't successful against Valhalla. So tonight, Fallon Henley looking to try to regroup. But the question is, can she do it at Core J's expense? We're going to find that out. Bell's wide core chain. Not in the hot seat. And look at that. Fallon Henley springboard into the Bulldog. Oh, my. What an explosive way to start this match. Oh, big knee right to the side of the head. And now Fallon Henley going up. Uh-oh. Fallon Henley with an elbow. They're going to take it towards... Um, the mean girl, Cora Jade. My God. Fallon Henley. At least dominating the early part of this match so far. Count of two by the referee. Able to block. Count of three. As Cora got back in the ring. And now Fallon Henley now taking her time. But look at Cora. She thought about diving there. You saw that. But. Fallon Henley got back in the ring just in time for Cora to stop herself, but Fallon Henley sent back outside by Cora Jane. And I, uh oh, Cora going up top. She's on Monday Night Raw, look at the fly. Drop kick connects. The drop kick landed on the Fallon Henley. And now Cora. Look at it, mate. Oh, I thought going to send her back in the ring. Decides to send her face first onto the uh, apron. Oh. And the LED board as well. Cora Jade now dominating this portion of the match. On the outside is both women here. Double knees. Oh, my God. And then a set on the boot. Cora Jade. Letting out the mean side of her. Especially here tonight live in Fort Worth, Texas. Count of seven. Cora Jade. And then, oh, center by the, by the announce table. Count of eight. Count of nine. Cora Jade, they're going to take advantage. And she's taunting Fallon and Henley. Henley is down for the count. Fallon Henley now trying to get back in the ring, but it's too late. Cora Jade able to take advantage of the 10 count. Once again, Fallon Henley comes short. Oh, wait a minute. Cora Jade, I don't like that look. Wait a minute, Cora Jade. Oh, come on now. You want the damn man? Oh, stand chair on the Henley. Well, ladies and gentlemen, next week live on Raw, you don't want to miss it. Bianca Belair returns to action as she'll go one on one with the former eight time WWE Women's Champion of WWE Hall of Famer Trish Stratus returns to action against Bella next week. Also, who will be the new member of Imperium as Gunther announced it on SmackDown this past week? Gunther. Vinci, Kaiser, and a new member. Who will it be? We'll find out on Raw next week. Also, the Heartbreak Kid, WWE Hall of Famer Shawn Michaels, despite being suspended as Raw General Manager, will be on Raw next week to address his matchup with CM Punk at Clash at the Castle. The Women's World Tag Titles will be on the line as Damage Control, Asuka, and Eo Sky will defend the gold against the new number one contenders, Chelsea Green and Piper Niven, next week. But coming up next, 
First, we'll have True McIntyre in our main event. We'll take on Ricochet. McIntyre looking to build momentum as he head towards clutching the castle in Cardiff, Wales against Roman Reigns for the world title. Speaking of Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns will go one on one with Sami Zayn. Coming up next, one on one before our main event, Ro Roman Reigns will meet Sami Zayn. The underdog from the underground will meet the Trouble Chief. Can Zayn get the upset win? Live next. Let me talk to you. The WWE 2K universe has shifted once again. The Rock comes back to force a change. Now, even though The Rock and LA, Knight, don't agree on a lot of things, but the one thing we can change is our future, which is why starting now, LA Knight is coming for championship gold. So, to the world and now new international champions, you'll be seeing the BFT in your future, courtesy of the megastar, LA Knight. LA Knight declaring he's after championship gold down the line. Would it be this man? He said, whether it's the international title or the world title, he has his eyes set on championship glory. As tonight, ladies and gentlemen, may we put our fingers up and acknowledge our world heavyweight champion the tribal chief once again head of the table after regaining the world title at wrestlemania surviving a fatal four-way match with randy orton drew mcintyre and finn balor roman reigns since then has been unstoppable we're back in the age of the Tribal Chief. That's Roman Reigns. We'll have a big matchup coming up at Clash at the Castle in Cardiff, Wales when he meets the number one contender in Drew McIntyre one-on-one. -on -one. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring representing the bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the world heavyweight champion, Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns making his way down the aisle. Roman Reigns and championship gold has been very synonymous with each other over the last almost a decade at this point. But, to be more specific, ever since 2K16, Roman Reigns has held the World Heavyweight title on numerous occasions. In our, in this universe mode, Roman Reigns is the inaugural Universal Champion when he defeated John Cena on Monday Night Raw and then defeated Randy Orton for the title. Roman Reigns, one of his first dominant reigns was with the Universal title in 2K17 and 16 and 18. In 16, it was the world champion. 17, the first Universal champion. Once he won back the title, he was on an unstoppable reign until he met Shinsuke Nakamura in 2K18. Went on to have a great US title reign. I'm pointing out the fact that Roman Reigns has done so much over the years. Ever since the Shield broke up years ago, Roman Reigns has been trying to carve his own path. It was a struggle at first, but now Roman Reigns has found his niche, has found his aura. But here comes a man who's also done a lot over the years. Able to realize the dream in his own way this year alone. From Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sammy Zayn. You can get the gist that this universe mode has been going on for damn near a decade. 
for the for the fact that Sami Zayn has held the television title, the United States Championship with a great rivalry with Daniel Bryan in 2K16, over the fact that he won the world title from defeating Neville in 2K17 at WrestleMania for the world title. Or the fact that he won the Intercontinental Championship in 2K18. The fact that Sami Zayn has won the tag team titles with his best friend Kevin Owens this year back at Raw's day one event in Montreal, Quebec. And then went on to WrestleMania and defended the tag titles with his best friend. But now that both men are on their own, Sami Zayn has a big point to prove, especially against the world champion in this matchup tonight. Right at the bat, Roman trying to hold Zayn in his grasp, and then Zayn able to get countered. After Zayn countered, Roman countered as well, and then took it down with that neckbreaker, but now Zayn with a leg swing. That's, oh. Big kick right to the spine, but Roman with a kick to the face. Able to make things a bit more personal. Does the Tribal Chief, and now the Garane Scout! Planning down Zayn. Oh, oh my God! Kick after kick, right to the gut, onto Zay. Big kick to the midsection, springboard, got him, Danny T! Holy! And oh, shot right to the spine, and now Reigns. Got rent slam, and now Reigns again, they're gonna showcase his dominance! But now it's Zayn! Shoulder first goes Rain. And now the girl. Oh! Both men back and forth. Trying to one up each other, trying to counter each other. Zayn got him here. Backbreaker, my lord. Backbreaker by Zayn. Goes for the cover. Reigns is knocked down at all. By the time referee got in position, Reigns had to kick out. And then Zayn continues to fire back with that head scissors. Blue Thunder, no! Reigns able to counter! Reigns able to shut down the Blue Thunder Bomb by Sammy, and now it's Roman. Uh-oh, big dog, in position. Trouble Chief, look at the, oh! Superman Punch! What the, wait a minute, Superman Punch? What, Drew McIntyre, what the hell is he doing with the world title? McIntyre taking the belt, Reigns sees it, and Reigns get the title back. McIntyre played some serious mind games, and Zayn takes advantage. Wow. What a, <laughs> what a scenario there. Drew McIntyre trying to walk away with the world championship, playing mind games with the tribal chief, and now Zayn, they're going to try to capitalize. Oh. Roman Reigns is in deep trouble. Remember, Zayn's a former world champion in his own right, so he knows what it takes to get to that level. Springboard did DDT once again. That's got to do it. Reigns is in trouble. Zayn with the advantage. Oh my God, the king got a one. Don't want to count out the tribal chief at all. In this case, oh. Double boot, right to the face. Zane kind of hesitated, Reigns. But Zane turns it around, ducks under. Leapfrog, Zane, heel kick. What a match. Sami Zane trying to get the WWE Universe behind him. Roman Reigns from behind though. Irish whip sends, oh, the spear. Enough distance for the spear to connect. Hook of the leg, Zane powers out of two. Roman can't believe it. Sami Zayn not wanting to say die at all. And I, oh wait, Zayn able to turn it around. Zayn might have a chance here. Oh no 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 no! He's measuring Roman. Roman's going into the corner. Bad spot, Roman. Hold on, my kick. Hold on, my kick. I'm the world champion. Zayn's gonna do it! Zayn's gonna pin the world champion! Hook of the leg! Roman Reigns got the solar battle! My God! I 
thought Zane had it! I thought that was it! But Roman Reigns reminds us all why he is the world champion. Reminds us why he is the main event. Why he's the head and shoulders above all here on the Raw brand. Why he is the tribal chief. But Sami Zayn proves why he's the underdog from the underground. Why he proves that as long as his heart beats, he will not say die. Ducks under the Zayn. Got him, German suplex. Zayn got him with the German suplex, but... Oh wait, Zayn, Koji clunks. Koji clunks. Koji clunks the mission. And... Maybe Zayn did that just to wear him down. I thought he was going to make him tap out. Oh. Big knee to the midsection. Right hand to the gut. Zayn thinking. Tornado DDT once again. But Reigns on the outside. Reigns on the outside. And now it's Reigns sending Zayn back in the ring. What a back and forth battle between Reigns and Sammy Zayn. Roman with his own version of a halluva kick. A boot right to the face. And now, oh look at Zane! Oh, but Roman turns it around again! But Sami Zayn won't say die! He keeps moving, he keeps getting up! Oh, guillotine! 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 Zane's in trouble! The guillotine locked in! Roman Here ended it all! Roman! Hooray! Holy Cow. A lot of shenanigans took place during the matchup, but in the end, the Tribal Chief remains on top. Guillotine once locked in, it was over. Well, there comes McIntyre coming back out for this matchup next. Make sure you click the subscribe button and the notification bell where you never miss a video from this channel. Live in Cardiff, Wales, our next premium live event in WWE 2K24, it's Clash at the Castle. And now, ladies and gentlemen, minimum time in Fort Worth, Texas. As here comes Drew McIntyre. As the Scottish warrior, a man who just tried to play mind games with the world champion in Roman Reigns, McIntyre, not here for a fight. As the fire has risen for the warrior tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre, a former Intercontinental Champion, a former NXT North American and NXT Champion. But tonight, McIntyre has a big opportunity in front of him as he meets Ricochet one-on-one. -on -one. McIntyre feels that he has something to prove, especially against the world champion. So let's see if McIntyre will be able to prove that he is world champion material as he goes one-on-one -on -one with the one and only. A former two-time WWE Champion, Ricochet. And his opponent from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet. And no, ladies and gentlemen, that is not a stat that I just pulled out of my rear end. That is legitimate fact. 
in this universe mode in 2K19. Ricochet won the WWE title in his debut match against the phenomenal AJ Styles. And then in 2K20, he went on to survive at Survivor Series, being the sole survivor for SmackDown. Went on to win the world title at TLC in 2K20 against Aleister Black. Ricochet is the real deal in this universe mode. Once had a great rivalry with CM Punk over the Cruiserweight Championship in year, years ago. And you saw Ricochet right off the bat. He rode up the way from McIntyre and now got the advantage. Sending McIntyre to the outside. What is Ricochet thinking here? Off the ropes and boom! Oh, McIntyre able to counter. Able to cancel out anything Ricochet had planned for there. Oh, elbow after elbow right to the midsection of McIntyre. And now Ricochet turns him over. Oh my god! And a shooting star as well! And again! Two shooting stars for McIntyre's problems. Oh, and an elbow! Or troubles, I should say. Two shooting stars for McIntyre's troubles. I'll get it right. Look at this! McIntyre! Got him with the submission. Hope the Kimura lock, but Ricochet able to get out. Well, you saw Ricochet. I think he tried to go for his another springboard, perhaps. Who was facing towards the ropes. McIntyre took advantage. Sent him off the ropes. Leapfrog. Elbow! Obviously, the size difference between the two, McIntyre and Ricochet, will be a factor. Ricochet, the, the quicker of the two, but McIntyre, over the years, went from a slim type of guy to then adding a lot of muscle over the years, especially heading towards his WWE return. Back it over at 2K 16-17 uh, and down! Oh! McIntyre with the reverse Alabama slam and a kick at two. Reverse Alabama slam by Ricochet, able to kick out at two. And now McIntyre from the top rope, elbow! Right across the heart of Ricochet. And you saw, you saw that McIntyre able to block Ricochet from rolling out the ring. As Ricochet cannonball, but he landed barely on his feet as McIntyre got back in the ring. Holy. That was a quick situation there. But McIntyre, bad move. Ricochet caught him. McIntyre wanted to relax for a second. Thought Ricochet crashed and burned in the ring. But didn't see that the one and only was right behind him. Big knee right to the midsection. Kick to the gut by Ricochet. And now going up. Uh-oh. Look at the fly. Shooting star. Shooting star on the McIntyre. Hook of the leg. Almost had him. But McIntyre powered at it too. Springboard. Oh, couldn't get it. He couldn't get the top rope springboard. But now. McIntyre. Oh, hug him up to try the top rope. What a gun stun, or a stun gun, I should say. Uh-oh. McIntyre, they're gonna build momentum. This could be a message to Roman Reigns. Claymore! Claymore onto Ricochet. Hook of the leg. McIntyre with a win. Holy. Oh, wait a minute. After what happened earlier tonight, obviously Roman Reigns, he knew what McIntyre was trying to do, play mind games, trying to take his world title away with him. But it's not Clash of the Castle yet, where these two will meet for the World Heavyweight Championship in Cardiff, Wales. Less than four weeks from tonight, Roman Reigns, McIntyre, all for that prestigious title. Good night, everybody, from Fort Worth, Texas. Wait, the wing, let's go!